Hello friends, new and seasoned. Welcome to Spicy Cat Colors. My name is Kathy. I'm very happy to see you today. I have, we'll see, I always say seasoned friends, you know I always say this should be short, but it is me. So if you're a new friend, I tend to chat a lot. This is my supplies and a book haul for August. I do believe this is just the things in August. Now, some I don't, I think I maybe showed in my last haul, and I don't know. Some are empty packages. So here you go. <laughs> this is an empty package because I don't have the actual paint markers with me. But these are the Mondo Llama paint markers, 16 colors. Mondo Llama comes from Target. I have been doing a lot of work in my Disney books using paint markers, and I wanted to try these. And I have them at where I will be next week. So these are the colors and yeah. I cannot give you a review yet because I haven't used them. So I bought those and then this I think I showed you the picture because it hadn't come in yet. So I'd ordered the again uh, Mondolama brand. This is their acrylic paints, their little jars. And here are those colors. Although when it says colors may vary, just makes me wonder. But I did try some of those in um, August, and they work fine. Uh, Mondo Loma brand. I did all I already showed you the larger, um, thicker. I don't know what these are. The fine tip must have been the broad tip, because it's back to school. This type of thing is on sale. I think they were seriously like a quarter or something. So it is just. I haven't tried the fine tip or the larger tip of the Mondo Llama water base markers, but now was the time to buy them and try them. So, ugh, so I get that. Those were all my Target items. Then I have a couple Amazon items. Uh, this is <laughs> inspired by my friend Tammy. Tammy's colors too. She got a new um, mat which this is, I've used placemats before, this is just larger, and I do like it, but this light color, I have gotten very dirty, so these were on sale, I'm going to just insert pictures of, I actually purchased two to show you, um, this is the Cat Paws Purple, and then I got one that is black with a lion, so I have this ready for when I want to swap this out, meaning I would have to have my desk completely clean first. Also from Amazon, these are the um, reusable bookmarks that I have started using to mark my completed pages. I have this little container, I throw them in. So this is this pack right here. There is how many in it? I can't remember. I think 24 and um, one side is a cat and the other side is a doggy. so that is the one style and that's what I have here I just repurchased the same set and then I've also purchased this one from Amazon before which is like these cats in fun artistic but they are just um, you can use them for I mean I use them for marking my coloring pages but it is a bookmark so you can use it in a regular book, um, just two magnetic pieces that keep it together. So I had needed more because I always run out when I'm doing my completed pages. Oh look, I had this open. So I'm pretty sure this was a special, I don't know if you buy one, got one free. So there's, I thought there's like two full sets in here, but six. So there is 24 here. You can see all of the animals in their cuteness so I have all of those ready to put in here and I need to rearrange a bit I have a couple more supplies and then I have books I have a few things from Walmart to show you so I have been using acrylic paint pens and acrylic paint in a lot of my um, double-sided hatchet heroes books primarily the Disney books and I do enjoy the paint pens for like finer detailed areas but the large areas the it is just not conducive to use those paint pens I mean they will work 
but the amount of paint you're going to end up using and it kind of goes streaky and you gotta be shaking and pumping. So I have been doing a little bit with actual acrylic paint as I showed. I bought the Mandalama, I have another brand from Walmart, but the quality of those has not been the best. However, I have purchased the Apple Barrel and there is one I have that I've been using for um, skin tones, like peach skin tones, and it works really well. So I finally just bit the, bit the, whatever they say, bullet. I'm like, I can't think of my uh, sayings. And there were two sets at Walmart, and instead of trying to like sit and pick an individual, I just want to get a nice like assortment. So I picked up this set which has all of those colors in and these are matte so this is what's going to be interesting so these are matte colors and then the other set I bought is called the farmhouse set and those are satin so I will use both I really don't get that worked up if it's matte gloss satin um, yeah I'm going to see how they work if I mix and match. This does not give me a nice little example of all my colors, though, so that's annoying. But there were a lot of why I liked this set is because of the browns and some bluey greens because those are often needed or even for, like, backgrounds. So this might be another skin tone. This classic caramel looks like a good skin tone. So I bought both of those, and then, of course, I needed something to store them in. Now, my goal would be to have all of the acrylic paints in one thing. So I do have a caboodle. Those 80s ladies may remember caboodles. And I have currently all my little pots that are like, okay, this is a lotion, but they're like this size of um, paint in there. But... And then I thought, well, I could get another container to just hold these. I'm like, or I could get a container that holds them all. So you're not going to be able to see this. It is a Sterlite, what do we got? 15 quart <laughs> latching lid. And here, I'll just show you. These will fit in both of these with room to spare. So I could put all of my paints in one container. We will see if I do that. But that is everything for supplies. Let me get the books out. So these are the books that, this is like my bonus. So I got double bonus. All of these that I'm going to show you came from Amazon. I will have links, affiliate links down below directly to the books. And what happens if you are a new friend, I do coloring for coins with my husband, which is kind of just my own way to not buy all the books all the time. So I earn... And I always say in quotes, earn, because again, it's my money, it's our money, I can spend it as I want, this is, I put this on myself and I don't even stick to it all the time to keep myself from buying like every new release as it comes out. So I earn a quarter for every page I color in the month. At the end of the month, I tally up what that total would be. I go shopping on Amazon, put the new books that I want in the cart, and then he does the checkout. He, it's his way to support me, and it really does stop me from having an Amazon coloring book showing up at my door every day, which is what happened before. And again, it's not like, I mean, if, I, if we couldn't afford it, I wouldn't even be doing this. This is actually helping me limit. So what happened, and I kind of worked my way around it, is I start putting books in the cart like the last week of the month because if there's new releases, and then I make my final decision and tell him that, okay, I'm done. My choices are in the cart. Well, he was buying something else, and there were some books in the cart, and he just checked them out. And I said, I wasn't ready yet. And he's like, what? I thought you had them in there. I said, well, but they weren't my final choices. And he goes, okay, those are just your bonuses. So you can pick again. <laughs> so I got double books in <laughs> for my, um, what were these? These would have been purchased in August, but earned in um, July, which is really good because July was a 96 page month. So that's where these came from, meaning I didn't have to buy them because I am trying to do a no buy 2022, which is just a joke by now. That's not been a no buy, but it has really been a slow buy out of my own. Yeah, 
it's been a slow buy, which has been good for me. So, okay, let's go through these. This is the new Spooky Vibes from Alexander Franzis. Franzis, I say the name wrong. I'm going to compare. A lot of these seem similar. They're not the same because I know she wouldn't do the same as the Cute and Spooky, which came out last Halloween and so many of us fell in love with it because um, she was still working under Jade Summer at that time. But I know there is a similar, because I colored it last year, but not the same. Anyway, I think they're adorable. Very excited. I will definitely be getting into this book in um, September. I'm not waiting for October to color. This one, I just I saw it on somebody's channel. I thought it was adorable. Raquel Onet, 36 Funny Characters, an adult grayscale coloring book. Had it on my wish list. It actually has on the back, you can see all of the um, characters and they have them colored in if you are looking for inspiration. But I, I'm not gonna do a full flip. If, if anyone wants a flip, a lot of these are already out on um, YouTube, so <laughs> you don't need me to flip it. But if you haven't seen one and are interested and would like me to flip a book, um, just ask me and I will do it again. So these are a grayscale, just fun little characters that should be fairly easy to color. Then we're on the spooky, the spooky bandwagon. I just saw there's a new release now, Spooky Couple. Uh, I'll wait because I have yet to color in Spooky Girl or Spooky Town, which I now have. These, this is a Coco Wyo book and Spooky Couple is also Coco Wyo. Again, this is out there. I do love that they have a couple examples of colored pages. I am just so intrigued and would love if all illustrator publishing houses would credit their artists because I would just like to know who this artist is because I love it. And if they have an Etsy store or other work out there, I would love to support them. But until then, I will support them through Coco Wyo, but really it doesn't... Again, I always use the example of the Creative Haven books. You know, they are published, Creative Haven and Dover, they publish the books, but they credit their artists. So that's, it's not like it should be a big secret. So anyway, I have this one. I'm excited. It'll be getting colored in. So this is the whole, are these connected? Because I have yet to hear or see if it is the actual artist. So Spooky Boy popped out there and it is by Lainey Dow. And this is very akin to speak Spooky Girl and Spooky Town. So not the same because the style, I mean, it's similar. But I think these have, the Coco Wild version, have a little bit more like grayscale in, where these seem pure line art. So I don't know if this one was inspired or if those were inspired by. Either way, I thought it was super adorable. And I am happy to have it in my collection. So I have three more books. So those were the ones I chose. These are the ones that were in the cart that I wasn't sure about that I got as bonuses. So here is Mystery Mosaic, Color by Number, Kawaii Characters. This is by, I think, is it Sunny? Sunny Publishing? Sunny Publishing. And I just enjoy doing pixel books, so I like to pick up new ones. These seem kind of small. Three by three, I think four by four, these old eyes prefer. So... Don't know what they are, but they're going to be kawaii characters. I do wish that this these books would give you the an answer key. Even if it was just an answer key, like listing the character or the animal or what it is. Um, but that's okay. I will work with it. Just because I end up with some very interesting color choices sometimes, let's just say. This is an older book, Easy Halloween coloring book. This was, it is the art of Josh Dunbar, who also last fall was working um, under Jade Summer and now has since stepped out, but we do know this is his book or his artwork. And I didn't get it last year. So now I have it this year. 
you can tell I'm getting ready for spooky season. And then the last one, I was excited. I have, I'm not in love with all the Color Questopia books that are released. And so I could say that with all any of the artists, although I very do enjoy a lot of artists and publishers. Um, I don't get all of them. But this one, Cute Witches, Black Background, seemed adorable. And there, let's <laughs> see quite a few bonuses so should be fun to color and I thought I noticed and maybe they're not all so on the bonus pages you get at the back did they give us all Halloween pages so they gave cute Halloween happy Halloween Ooh, fantasy animals this is one I'm interested in I have not purchased it yet but now I'm excited and then Halloween black background so they, I'm impressed how they put the bonus pages. Now don't make me, yeah, all of the bonus pages could be tied in as other Halloween type books, Halloween fantasy. So that's very interesting and I like it. So those were my coloring for coins books. Now I'm going to show you, and I do not, if this comes across as ungrateful or rude or anything that is not my intention I am just going to tell you um, and I will show you these I'm not doing a full flip I have seen several other channels receive similar packages and have done flips so you can check theirs but um, I had received an email and I receive emails not like I'm not a huge channel by any means so I get emails from now and then from companies asking me if I would review a product, um, something related to coloring. Sometimes it's nothing related to coloring, but I usually don't even respond because, and it's not that I don't, um, I think if I ever worked specifically with maybe a publisher, an artist, and we had the understanding that my feedback is not guaranteed to be 100% positive, and they'd be okay with that because I just um, am so respectful and appreciate the way Lauren loves color, who is still out here. She's just very busy, but she has been coloring, um, did her reviews. And she's very honest and can give constructive con criticism that is not negative. And that's how I like to be. But I'm not going to take a product if I don't think it's my type of fit. Um just to get it for free and then to show you that's not how I am because I would not have a super positive review. Does that make sense? Now, if someone contacted me, you know, like Camellia Angel Kova, Kira Shersheneva, even like the Sun Life Drawing or the Satch Devas, any of them, and wanted me to share and review if they sent me their books, I would probably be more than happy to, but I would also talk to them, you know, don't send me everything because if it's not going to be my style, I mean, if you want me to just show it to get the word out there, but there's probably other people you could work with. I don't know. Does any of this make sense? So, long story long, I had received an email from this company called Skyhook Press, and I can show you it. It came um, because this, I have my address out there. This is just my P.O. box. And first of all, I've already talked to them, and I'm like, thank you. I said, first of all, I said, thank you. I saw your email, but I didn't respond because I looked at your books, and they aren't really my style. And then I received this package in the mail, um, unsolicited, and I said, I appreciate it. I definitely will still show them on my channel. So if you're watching, I do appreciate, and this is beautiful, beautiful artwork when I show you these books. Um, the only reason that I didn't respond to them was because I knew I probably am not going to color in it. It wasn't my style. So it's nothing against them or the artwork. And thank you for sending this to me. They will actually be passed on to people that I know will love them. And I may actually keep one or two. So I do appreciate that. So I'm going to show you. So I was just like, I got this package. I'm like, I did not order anything. What is this? And then I opened it up. I'm like, it's all books. I didn't do this. How am I going to explain this to my husband? Again, not that it matters. But, um, again, I know there are full flips of these on several other channels. You can just search for Skyhook Press to see the full flips. But I will show you the books they sent to me. And I will put the links to Amazon. I think you can also go to their website. 
and um, if you're interested in any of them. Like I said, they may be your style. We all have different styles. So here is the first one, the Skeeter and the Weasel, and Ann Watson and Aaron Shepard, and they are storybooks. Most of these are storybooks that can also be colored. So this is a whole story, but um, I'm not going to read it to you. And then they can be colored. So the reason I, I told them I didn't think it would be my style is because I'm a marker, pretty much marker straight colorist, alcohol marker. Well, if I color these pages, which are single-sided for the page, I would lose the story. I mean, I'd probably still be able to read it, but um, I'm not going to use pencil. And it's a very um, nice paper. It's very... It'd be so perfect for alcohol markers. I don't know. It seems really smooth. Again, I'm not a pencil person, so I don't know if this would work. Or, um, but so that is the first book. Here is this is ju um, not just, but this is a coloring book. So it's got. Um, pretty sure these are all Shutterstock. It is Amazing Women number one. I do know they have a couple different of these because I've seen different of the grayscale books. Um, I think those of us that receive this receive different ones. So there are photos in here and exactly what it is. It's like um, an actual photograph that's been converted to grayscale, which is fun to color. The reason I am don't, I have done similar of these and I don't enjoy them because I need like hard edges. Again, I use alcohol markers which bleed. So using them on here, these are beautiful images of women and I love seeing that. But it just will look really messy. So that's my, oh, she's fun. But very fun. If this is, again, I don't know if you would do this in, oh, there's a good hello. Maybe I could try one. If you would use pencils or how to get the best um, results from this book. But very, very nice. Um, I was going to say it is, so they're not Shutterstock. All photos are by Aaron Shepard. Okay. Islanderimages.com. So there you go. A fun book and then we have so this is a new release and I know several of that I've seen show this are excited for this book and I'm excited to read it so this is their new release um, Wendy Edelson and Watson the mice before Christmas again it is a storybook with a grayscale illustrations which would be beautiful co to color except I don't I don't do pencils and my markers if I use markers it will um, ruin the other pages which is just so sad because I love it I did give him give them the comment you know and I was emailed them that if they are ever considering you know aiming towards more colorists that if they did the book single-sided or the pages single-sided it would um, allow more mediums to be used and they took the time to respond and I appreciate again very grateful that um, because they do a real high quality paper I mean I don't know it's it's paper it's not Amazon printed that's for sure doesn't feel like it it's a higher quality than the Amazon basic paper um, just the cost and the books are already a little more expensive for a coloring book but you are getting a storybook as well so I think these would be great for um, people that have the right medium to use and maybe have children or grandchildren to actually color the images and then pass the books on to a child in their life. I think that would be amazing. So here's another one, the Quackling Coloring Book. So this says it's a coloring book, but it is also a storybook. So that's where I'm just not quite sure. They're calling them coloring books, but it's a storybook illustrated. Again, these are adorable, and I'm sure they're going to be so cute colored. And I hope to see some, because maybe that would inspire me to, um, to try. But again, I can't use my alcohol markers. 
here's uh, two more to show you the Sea King's Daughter coloring book, which is, again, a storybook. <laughs> I feel like I'm correcting them. You can call it whatever you want. This one actually has colored so pages on here, and then the images are grayscale, and the artwork is just amazing. Here's a colored page completely. Um, who is the the pictures? This one is Jenity Spearin, and so talented. So these are I'm going to read the stories because I think they're interesting. And I may keep, like I said, some I know will be passed on, some I may just keep. Um, haven't made that full decision, but. And lastly, the Baker's Dozen, should just call it Coloring Storybook or Story Coloring Book. I don't know. It's just, it's not, it's not a coloring book only. But again, check out these illustrations. I mean, holy moly. So talented, so beautiful, and I just wish, I mean, I could sacrifice the story, I guess, but I have so many other coloring books that I love. And again, because of the grayscale, this one seems a little bit more defined on the edges that if I'm very careful with alcohol marker, I might not bleed all over the place. But, of course, they have to be cats. They make me happy. So there you go. Those are the books I received from um, Skyhook Press. Again, thank you. Although, um, I, like I said, I feel guilty because I didn't respond because I knew they weren't going to be my style. But I'm still happy to show them because there are probably people here that are watching that that is their style. And then the books that I received in coloring for coins and a few supplies. So not a lot, which is fine. I don't need anything. That has been my whole, um, why I was trying to do a no buy is because I have enough supplies and books that I could go a whole year and not need to buy anything new. But some of these new releases just have to end up in my cart. So thank you. Thank you, friends. I will be back with some type of video again. I don't know what order. I'm trying to do some filming while I have a chance. So I should have a few videos over the next week or two popping up for you. And I hope you are doing well and you are ready for spooky season like I am. Fall is in the air. The I've actually seen some leaves starting to change color, which I am very happy about. And yeah. I just like I wanted to like have them artfully splayed but the OCD in me has to like make them in a neat pile anyone else relate okay friends I'm gonna let you go I think you're amazing I think everyone all of us have things to offer to the world so thank you for offering your time to me today I do not take it for granted in case nobody has told you recently you matter, you are beautiful, you are loved, and you provide value to this world. See you next time.